So in, when we analyze cancer genomes, the, the, the next frontier is to understand the dynamics of cancer. Which cancers grow fast, which go slow, what are the events in the cancer that cause them to grow fast or slow. Then are the subclones in the cancer that are growing faster than the parental clones. All these dynamics of cancer and then what happens pre-treatment and what happens when you add treatment to the cancer in their dynamics over time. And this is where our kind of future in understanding the, the contribution of the genome to cancer development. What we would like to do is that all this genomic information on every patient will help predict the future of their, of their cancer, when it will come back, when treatment will, will need to be given, what will be their in future resistance mechanism. In the, in the project that I described here, I talked about pre-treatment cancers and how they evolved and we looked at CLL, at ones that have exponential growth and once they have logistic growth, meaning that they reach some size that, and they stopped growing after that size. And we, want, and we saw that there are genomic features that are, so, that are different between those two groups. Ones that are, we could predict up front that maybe will be logistic growth, meaning that they stop, and ones that we could see up front that will be exponential growth. And then we took it even further and we looked at the subclones of those cancers and we saw that there are some mutations that if they existed, the driver mutations, they increase the, the, the growth of those subclones. And that could then affect future patients saying, okay, here's a cancer that will grow and will maybe come back early, and here's a cancer that might not grow and we could do watch and wait and see what happens uh, later. So it's individual uh, personalized or precision medicine where you actually think of what treatment and what dynamics of the cancer will be per patient.